Today's quick tip comes from my grandma, who's been dead for a really long time, but still her wisdom keeps me going. And she told me, never go to bed on an argument. I'm not claiming it was an original thought of hers, by the way, just that she was the person who taught it to me. And like so many things that she taught me, I have tried to live by it. Never go to bed on an argument. I think she taught me about it uh, with regards to me and my now husband at the time, probably early boyfriend. Um, but um, it's, I think, helpful for all of us in all of our relationships and our families. And particularly, I find it helpful these days to think about it from the point of view as a parent and a carer of my uh, children that things can be tricky sometimes. We can have challenging days and that challenge can come in all different shapes and forms. But I think it's really important that by the time that we all go to bed, we're going to bed knowing that we completely unconditionally love each other and that tomorrow is a fresh start and it's all okay. So even if it's been one of those days when things have been interesting, we try to get to the point where by bedtime, we can go through our normal little routine, say goodnight, have a hug, say we love each other and mean it, and everyone just goes to bed, maybe licking wounds a little bit, but actually knowing that we've got to a decent point. That can be easier said than done, and I think the thing we have to remember here is that we're the adults in these relationships, and sometimes our children, or maybe even other adults that we're living with, may find it hard to let go of stuff. And sometimes in order not to go to bed in an argument, we have to step down and say, I'm not gonna keep insisting on having the last word here. Actually, I'm just gonna let this one roll. I'm just gonna, you know, step down, move on from it, and suggest that we just turn over the page and start again tomorrow. Um, it can be hard because sometimes, you know, yeah, we can have all different points of view about what's been said, what's been done, what's going on, but nobody benefits when we all go to bed still angry, still upset, still, still festering. And certainly speaking from my household, the next morning and getting the kids to go into school, which can be challenging at the best of times, can be even more so. If they wake up with that uncomfortable feeling that things are unsettled and we went to bed in an argument and it's not good. So try, if you can, to end on, it doesn't have to be a really positive note, but at least a neutral note, so that tomorrow we turn over a fresh sheet and things are calm and good. I'd love to hear whether this is something that you practice in your family or whether you think it could work for you and whether your grandmother ever gave you any really good advice and what is it that she gave you. Um, I hope you're enjoying the content. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to support me in my creator journey, then uh, do consider heading over to Patreon where you can subscribe for as little as three pound a month to support me to keep creating content to help you to help your child. Thank you so much. See you next time.